Hey everybody, it's Mr. Spencer Prime with today I'm doing a Transformers review of the Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Blackout. So basically he is his normal uh helicopter and he does come with a Scorponok, which is nice. I think every blackout comes with a Scorponok, I think. I don't know. Put in the comments if you think, but or or no, but um to go on with Scorponok, basically he is a normal gray plastic, soft plastic, and a silver um thing, face. Um, but he does have a little stinger and stinger bends at two points here and here, which is nice. And He's a fine figure, but um, Blackout is basically uh, all purple with some silver here, and then black windows, and then some yellow lining around the windows. And the helicopter blades do spin. This one does, and this the one in the back does, but. Size comparison with the, um, Scout, cl I think, Deluxe Class Wheelie is from the Revenge of the Fallen is, he's, Blackout's pretty long compared to him, and also with the McDonald's Class Animated Ratchet, I think that's animated, no, that's not animated. Yeah, it is. But onto the transformation. Basically, you just want to fold these blades up. Like so. Just fold them. Just like that. Then you just want to take this part and then just unclip it. Uh, and then un just uh, split that in half. Then you want to bring the legs down these parts down then just rotate them like that and then you've got pretty much his bottom part and then you just just accordion these out to the front just like so bring these arms down like so same thing with the other one the arm down just rotate it so then it's like that. Then you have that. Then you just want to take this whole assembly part and then just bring it down. It will reveal his tiny head. And then basically you just straighten this all out. Oh, forgot. Um, you just want to take this whole part and then just bring it here so then it has his normal blackout thing. I don't know. Then you just want to again bring the blades uh, down in the back, and then just fix it all up like that. And just bring the arms down, rotate this blade like that. I can't. Um. Then he is in robot form after you fix the feet. And then you have him in his robot form. He is a cool figure. Um, I do like him in his robot form. His legs may be a little bit skinny. Like that. But, you know, it's a little figure, you know, not that much. But he does have a, in my opinion, he has a very cool um little form in his robot but i do like him a lot but here he is with mcdonald's ratchet he is pretty big actually this guy but um you can take scorponok here and what you do is you bring up you take this silver part and then just extend it, just rotate it out, and then do this the stinger, this tab, 
will go into this hole, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you just tab it together, and then he's a gun. You can take this handle. For mine, I don't know what happened. He can't hold Scorponok in mine. He can, but he just falls out super easily. You know, uh, and then he just falls out. But um, you can. Um, he does have the same thing on the right arm. Just he has the helicopter blade blocking it. But you can. Um, where did he go? Okay, there he is. Um, you just take the handle and put it into that hole. Simple as that. And then he doesn't have to do all that stuff. And then you can still hold him and all the other stuff. But articulation is arms go 360. They kind of hindered by this. You can still do it. But no head articulation, I think, with all the little figures. Um, he does bend at the elbow. Yeah, he bends at the elbow. Mine's a little bit hard, but he rotates 360 at the elbow and no waist articulation and no wrist articulation. But his legs go forward, back, out and in, and they bend at the knee. They do not rotate. Oh, yeah, they do. I just popped his leg off. So, anyway, he does have some toe articulation due to transformation. Just some simple stuff. But overall, I do recommend this figure a lot if you're into the small ones and you don't... The, the transformation is fun, easy, and overall, these... the Dark of the Moon line figures of these size are very... are very fun. And I do recommend this figure and all the other figures in the Cyberverse line. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Bye.